Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, um, I'm doing something a little different. I'm kind of going back to doing some tutorials, but not like video editing tutorials. I really stuttered saying that. Anyways, <laughs> I just wanted to show you guys how to make some Minecraft thumbnails. Uh, the way I do, well, I don't really make them this way at all, <laughs> but for like future projects, I'm going to. The only thing you're going to need is Minimator, and it's a, it's a free, I don't know, animation thing i don't really know what to call it yeah obviously it's like an animator it's a minimator <laughs> i really just okay anyways so it's completely free i've been using this for a long time so um yeah it you can trust it it'll probably take you to this page and you can name it with the author i don't really get why you have to put an author or anything but i'm just gonna create or wait hold on let's put new project two <laughs> So it's gonna take you here, um, it's gonna get a little getting used to, um, down in the corner there's like a shadow button, um, we'll use that later actually, I don't know. And left clicking does this, <laughs> kinda like, I'm not really sure what it's doing, but if you right click, um, you can move around with your WASD keys and E and Q to go up and down. So this is like a more free movement, uh, thing so that's right clicking and i guess we'll just start at the top so if you go here there's different things you can add like you can add text what is this a model from an external file i don't know when apparently you can make music um you can modify the background and things like that you can add multiple cameras i'm gonna add a block here lighting and particles and but what i what we're focusing more on here is getting a model in here so uh it's gonna show up as like a zombie or a human or steve and i'm guessing you don't you don't want just steve in it so you can go down to this drop down menu but first you can change it to Alex or Steve. I'm just gonna do Alex because I'm gonna do my Minecraft skin and go to skin in this drop down. You can either just select normal Alex or download from Minecraft user. Um, I'm gonna see if mine actually works. Oh, it does. Wow. <laughs> so yeah, that's my skin right there. And you can also just import it from files. So uh, and then you just press create. So I suggest, you know, uh, making a skin and stuff before this because obviously you will need it unless you want to use someone else's and there's just gonna be like different uh, Little arrows to move like up and down and then rotate it. I'm just gonna get rid of this I have not used this in a while. So bear with me. Okay, so apparently control R is to delete it Let's get on to the main thing and it's the skin which I'm pretty sure most of you came here for when you click on your skin here um you can pretty much like edit every part of it you can edit like the hat <laughs> i sneezed by the way <laughs> and uh also if you're gonna edit like the head be careful you don't um just click if you have like a hat on your thing because that will just like separate <laughs> and we don't want that so you can also adjust things in this settings area when you click on it so I usually don't like do much with the um, the time and stuff, but if you want to, you definitely can. All right, so what I'm gonna be showing you mainly is how to like move around your character and kind of pose it. So um, I'm just gonna do the arm and the this blue circle, like the cyan circle, is for bending. Obviously, you can do it over here too, but I just kind of like doing the slider over here. Um, I guess I'm just gonna make my skin just like wave or something. Just something si simple. Oh my god. Yeah, so sometimes you'll have to go over here if it's like too sensitive and stuff like that. I remember, this is also a an animator, so you can do animations on here, and I have before, but I totally forgot how. So yeah, that, that's what it looks like. Um, it's not that hard. You just gotta get used to it. And um, I like using Minimator better than like Blender and things like that, where it's kind of confusing. But Minimator, I think it's almost like the perfect, simple little uh, thumbnail creator or animator. 
um, for Minecraft, obviously, because this is made for Minecraft. So we have our posed character here, and if you want, you can add a um, you can add a flat surface and like that, and then you can like rotate it a little bit to your to however you want, and um, size it up. Let's see, how do you do that? And you go and you go here scale it's like a tiny button sure and you can you know where the scale button is because it's really important <laughs> when you're trying to scale things up you can just adjust it and that's like a little green screen if you want so yeah I'll put it right here you can either go on your computer and screenshot um using the screenshot snipping tool or you can use the in program image exporter i guess so you just press that it's right there and um you can adjust the size you can remove background or not high quality rendering and we can save that and go to our files also guys one more thing so i forgot that you can actually turn off the watermark so go to settings right here go to render go all the way down here scroll all the way down and then uncheck it and upgrade and then just say i'd rather not donate and get key so now we've got the full version <laughs> and that was that easy this is what it's going to turn out as and then you can go um to any like editing app on like your phone even i like to use my phone for like editing photos so i usually just send um photos from my computer to my phone using email and stuff like that <laughs> there's a lot of videos about erasing green screen backgrounds uh, so yeah i hope that helps and you can really just do whatever you want with this and i yeah i really hope this helps so if it did go ahead and subscribe and comment and like the video and i'll see you guys later bye